back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey. I live in Florida. I'm currently completing my student teaching in a fourth grade classroom and I'm so excited to start teaching in August. So today is April 1st, 2020. And as you know, currently at this time, there is this whole COVID-19 coronavirus thing going on. So unfortunately, I am not in the classroom in my district. All the schools are closed until May 1st and it may get extended, it may not. I don't know, everything's just kind of up in the air. So everybody is online, everybody's doing e-learning and all that good stuff. So yes, I do miss interning. I do miss the kids that I worked with. I miss my cooperating teacher, my team. I miss it all, but in this time of chaos, I'm just trying to do my best to kind of stay focused and look forward to the future and just kind of be happy and be positive all around. So with that being said, I decided that maybe I should probably start preparing things for my classroom. Um, hopefully that I will be getting in August. So basically I've been home and I've been just kind of looking at all of my classroom stuff that I have and I realized, wow, I have a lot of books. <laughs> so I want to kind of sort through them, I wanna label them, and that's why we're here today. So I am going to start off by um, kind of designing my labels that I'll be making. Uh, what I ordered was from Amazon, I'd ordered the Avery labels, and I know it says I've never done this before. I actually got this idea from Emma Kay's classroom. Um, I'll link her down below. She's on Instagram. I love her. I've been following her since she started her teaching journey. She's been following me. And it's just kind of amazing how we've connected and we're kind of going through the same thing together. So thanks, Emma, if you're watching this. So I've actually never done this before. So I'm gonna, I'm hoping that this all turns out amazing and great. And so we'll see. <laughs> but um, I did order these from Amazon. Um, they are the Avery labels. They're one inch by two and five eighths inches and it brings uh 300 labels so it says that basically you just kind of go online design your label and everything will be great and you print it out and it's easy so let's hope that it is Alrighty, here we go so we're going to start off with designing your labels so from what i saw it looks like we want to go into powerpoint which i already have it pulled up start a blank presentation i'm going to go ahead and delete this and delete this then we want to insert a shape to kind of um, resemble like where our label is and we want to change the dimension sizes to the size of your label. So mine are one inch by two and five eighths inch, which is about 2.63 inches. And there you go. I'm going to zoom in on this so that I can only see my label. I'm going to change this fill to no fill outline to black and really thin so that it doesn't bother me there you go okay so on my label i know that i want some sort of clip art so i already looked on google for the clip art that i want and i found um a couple that i want so this is one of them way smaller than that though <laughs> And then this is another one. I don't know which one I want yet, so I'm gonna use this time to kind of figure out which one I think is gonna look better. But I'm just downsizing these. Okay, so those are my two clip arts that I am think thinking about using one. I'll probably end up using the book one because they're book labels, but the heart one, the apple one is just really cute. Okay, so I know I want my label to say something along the lines of from the library of Miss Maldonado and then read it. Love, oops, it. Return it. Um, so I've seen a lot of teachers do this and um, I just think it's so cute. Okay, so that's kind of how I want it. Yeah. Um, so the only other thing is I want to make it centered like that. Let's make Miss Maldonado just a tad bit smaller. 
Sorry guys, I'm really indecisive with this stuff. Okay, I think that looks better. Okay, so the top and bottom font, I want it. At this point, it's just gonna be really me editing it until I kind of figure out exactly what I want. After much messing around with it I decided that I am gonna go ahead and do the pinkish purple color um, no reason why I just decided that I do like that color and that's it <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and kind of save this image so I'm gonna take my snipping tool I also have an HP computer so this part might look a little bit different actually all of it might look a little bit different but there you go. I'm going to save as. I'm going to save it where I have all of my other things. I'm going to save it as book labels. And I'm going to save it as a PNG file. Yes. Okay. That should be good. Okay. So now I am on the Avery website. Prior to getting here, I needed to make an account. So I went ahead and did that. And then it also asked like what labels you're working with. So with your labels, it has the um, like label number, which is right here. So you type that in and it brings up the template that you're working with. And so this is just like one label and this is how the full template looks like. So we are here now. So I've never worked on this website, so it's taking me a little bit to kind of get used to it, but let's figure it out together. So let's see, add image, computer here. Okay, this is looking good so far. Okay, so I'm guessing this red dot area is like what's called the safety area. So let's see. There's the middle. Tad bit smaller. Okay, well that was easier than I thought. Okay, so it also says to just kind of test it out first. Um, kind of print it on a regular piece of paper before you put it on the actual labels. So let's go ahead and preview this. So that is what it all looks like. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so I am done with all of my labels and I am so happy with the way that they came out. I think they're so cute. Um, and so basically behind me is all of my like classroom storage and like everything that I've just bought over the last year or so and months and things like that and it's all just away. But I have this bookshelf full of books and then I have some more books on this bookshelf. So what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of kind of sort through them, kind of put them into separate piles, kind of just... This probably isn't going to be the way it's going to stay when I actually get into my classroom space but for now it's just going to be like the kind of an idea so like all the science books together all the picture books about some sort of topic together kind of like that I'll probably end up changing it but for now that's just how it's going to be so time to get on that <laughs> Pretty much everything is all done almost all of my books have labels on them the only ones that don't have any labels on them are these down here it's just these little bit that don't have any um 
I actually ran out of labels, so I'm gonna have to order some more. Apparently I have more than 300 books, so, I mean, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so that's all that's gonna be need to be, that's all that's going to need to be done. I guess. I don't know. Um, but my office is kind of a disaster right now. Um, this is how we're looking right now. This is what we're dealing with. So at least they're all kind of sorted. I know it looks like a hot mess, but it's think of it as like organized chaos, I guess you could say. So I'm actually just going to kind of um, organize them away in my bookshelves and um, kind of organize them here. Um, but yeah, so let's get to it. <laughs> So I have pretty much uh, organized all the books. Um, there's still a few that I just need to kind of find a place for them. But um, for the most part, it's all done. Um, I do feel like really satisfied with how much did get done. Um, of course, when I get new books or like um, when I actually get into my classroom space and I know exactly where all the books are going to be, I may change it up a little. But for the most part, I've got kind of like my foundation set so um, I am really happy with how everything turned out um, I do hope that you know everything that I showed was helpful to you if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below or message me on my Instagram at classroom sunshine um, and you know if you have any questions or um, suggestions or anything at all just message me and I will of course respond back to you um, but yeah so I hope um, you found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.